Hey everybody, you guys know the 6-7 Cummins, they have a little bit of issue. You know, not many, but they do have one. It's the grid heater. So today we're doing a grid heater delete. Uh, we're doing the banks, get rid of the, the heater that's known to fail. Uh, I was told when that bolt falls, takes out the cylinder head, we'll wipe out, what was it, fifth and sixth cylinder. So, I mean, let's let's change this out, get everything right for the customer, get them a good heater, because we are in Midwest and uh, does get kind of cold. It's, what, 26 this morning? So. Uh, we'll run you through the process and get everything set up for you. Hey, so mechanics already got it off. Common point of failure is this bolt right here. This one's still actually good shape, intact, but it is a known point of failure. Luckily, this customer caught it with no issues. The truck's got lower miles, so it kind of helps. Um, so we're gonna get that replaced with the banks. Gonna get the new grid heat or new heater. Gonna have the heater on top, the intake plenum here. Goes right in the back. Ain't gotta worry about common points of failure and ain't gotta worry about ruining an engine.
So, guys, we're just getting this 2018 Ram wrapped up. Had the grid heater delete. Look at this beautiful Banks Ram air intake. Uh, getting rid of the grid heater. It's got a heater in the back still, so if you do live in a colder environment, uh, end up looking great, working great can still use with all emissions compliance. If you guys are looking to have a grid heater delete done, or if you're just looking to purchase one, hit us up at fastmotorsports.com.